Kenya, we are in a spiritual state of emergency. I am putting out this video and it's not about anything other than to make an urgent plea, an urgent cry to everyone who is going to be under the influence of my voice to tell you that we do not have time. Do you understand me? The Lord has already bought us time, but there is no more time. We are running out of time. Last year, the Lord spoke very heavily about the locusts before they ever came. He did. And I remember very well what he told me was the orphan, the widow, the fatherless, the alien. Because of these things, I sent the locust of corruption in this country to eat your comfort. To eat your comfort. And God was like, now you are praying about corruption because it's starting to affect you personally. Life has become unbearable for you. But what about my orphan? They live in a permanent state of famine, a permanent state of locust situation. While you, the church, remain silent. And the Lord was really angry with the silence of the church in Kenya. And even now after the locusts came, we did not come to a place where we wanted to acknowledge that this was a judgment of God. We shamelessly said, this is global warming. It was raining in January when it should not be raining. We have misinterpreted every sign that God has given us. Now, Kenya, you have had the prophets and the Lord has raised the office of the prophet and he has revealed the deep things of the spirit to us so that he may warn us because he is a God of mercy. Are you hearing me? You have to cry out for your children. Cry out for this nation. Death is coming. When I started to pray today, I had just led the women's ministry in prayer and the Lord kept telling me linger. This whole week it's been like linger, linger. But today it was beyond linger. It was like close the door and close the windows. And where I am now, I am not leaving until I get instructions from the Holy Spirit to leave this place. No eating, no drinking, no nothing here on this carpet, seeking the Lord. But let me tell you something, Kenya. You are worried about coronavirus, and I will speak about the virus later. You have not heard about the earthquake. Please hear me. The Lord showed me an earthquake in October last year. And the Lord showed me the map of Kenya. He did it. You know the way you do a blanket when you're tandikaying your bed. He shook this nation. And I remember very well he showed me Chiromo Road where there are those new buildings coming up. You know those tall buildings coming up over there? And they came down like powder. Like powder. Then he showed me Upper Hill where there are all those tall buildings. They came down like a house of cards. And I saw homes falling apart and people getting crushed and the wailing, the kind of wailing that came out of this nation was such as one that has never been heard before. There has never been seen in a nation people so destitute, people so broken. People of God, hear me. We don't have time to say we will pray next week or it is an emergency. You must take leave from work or do whatever it is that you need to do to set yourself free. I have locked myself here and said I don't care what was meant to happen this week. It comes to an end now. Because the Lord has shown me today coffins, so many tiny little coffins. I have wept for the children of this land, coffins. Kenyans people will die until there will be nobody left to bury the dead. Oh, but do you understand me? Science cannot save us. You need to get off Twitter and making memes and laughing and finding this as a joke. May the Holy Spirit of God who gives revelation cause you to understand that at this time he has caused the office of the prophet to rise up to warn the nation. This is the work of the prophets. It is to speak before anything has happened. So look, the Lord has told you beforehand. But I am telling you what you need to do is to cry out. This is not praying with decorum. This is not praying for 10 minutes. You are going to cry like the grief and the death has already come. That the Lord may avert it. The Lord must avert this danger. The Lord must relent of this plague. And listen. 
coronavirus. The Lord is just holding it at bay, waiting for you to rise up. You who is watching me. We are here now. I am here now, keshaing alone. I'm not waiting to be called for a kesha to attend. Here, I have locked myself in my office. Praying, crying, wailing out like a destitute, like a wounded animal, wailing throughout the night. And you're eating, you're sleeping. When are you going to pray? When you're standing over the coffin of your dead children? Is that when you're going to pray? Wake up, Kenya. Rise up. The Lord has been speaking. He has started with this locust, with this virus. I am telling you, the earthquake is coming. It is going to be horrible. You must kneel wherever you are on the streets in your offices. Cry out to Jesus. Only the blood of the Lord can help us. The blood of Jesus. This is like the second Passover. The angel of the day of death is moving. We must quickly put the blood of Jesus over this nation, over this continent. And God's agenda for this nation is revival. He has spoken it now through too many people. That the latter rain is being poured out from Kenya, going out into the whole world. We cannot deny God the revival that he wants. That the gospel will be preached to the ends of the earth and then the end will come. What are you waiting for? Why is this funny? Well, why are you looking at the prophets and thinking they are mad? Why do you think we are hearing mad things? I didn't find the courage to do this video until I went online and found other people who had the same message. And I knew that I knew. I called the people that I had told and said, hey, I told you this thing. See, I found somebody else saying it. And see somebody else. I hadn't had anybody talking of the earthquake. I found somebody now else saying, there's a terrible earthquake coming. And I knew that I knew the Lord has spoken. We must pray now. This can be about a few people praying. It is the children, the your grandmothers. Everybody must pray. Share this message. Share widely. And then go beyond getting alarmed. Go on your knees and pray. Stop frustrating the prophets. The prophets are seeking the face of the Lord. They are speaking his decrees. And you are just looking at us. Oh my God, awaken, awaken, awaken your people, Jehovah. God, awaken your people. Jesus, come, Holy Spirit, awaken your people. Show them what you have showed us. Give them understanding. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord cause you to interpret the times because you were born for a time such as this. It is now or never. This nation is facing its end. This is not about BBI or what. It is about a God who is mighty and sovereign, seated on a throne, and he hates his sin. And he is angry. God is angry. I have heard his angry voice. We must do something. We can't talk about prayer. We can't read a book. We can't sing a song. We can't preach a sermon. We must pray. Cry out. Cry. Cry to Jesus. Cry for his blood. Pray.